everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to, to do a full review on 4160 Tuesdays, the sexiest scent on the planet, IMHO, or in my humble opinion. So this is one that I ordered a decant of or a sample of from Lucky Scent. I am currently trying to test everything on my Lucky Scent wish list and kind of declutter my wish list because I've just got too many things on there. Um, I was definitely successful. I think only out of, I ordered 10 samples, five came off my wish list immediately, five stayed on. This was one of the five, and this, spoiler alert, is amazing. At some point, I will probably have to pick up a full bottle of this. This is actually a quite a simple fragrance. It has got bergamot in the top, it's got woody notes and vanilla, and then ambergris in the base. So it's really not, it's not overly complex, it's not complicated, and there's something about it that I am in love with. For me, my skin pulls out the vanilla. It is a predominantly vanilla fragrance on me, and which is my favorite kind of fragrance. So yes, I will need a full bottle of this, absolutely. Um, you definitely get the brightness from the bergamot. You definitely do get some woodiness as well. It's a light woodiness though. It's like an airy woodiness. It's not heavy. Um, it's not even heavy enough that it can pull down the vanilla at all. And then you just get this beautiful, fluffy, creamy, sweet vanilla. I definitely get the ambergris as well, but the ambergris for me, instead of adding a saltiness to it, is adding a kind of a freshness to it. Yeah, definitely a freshness. And something about the way that the ambergris and the woody notes are kind of blend together, it gives it, you you almost get like a by the fireplace woodiness. Um, but it's definitely not that heavy at all, but it's that kind of a warm, um, woodiness and then with the vanilla mixed in it's just beautiful it does remind me of like a lighter um, non smoky version of by the fireplace that's the best way I can describe it it definitely doesn't smell like by the fireplace yeah I don't want it to come across like that because it's much fresher it's much lighter um, and much more vanilla heavy but you do you get a, a ton there's like a lot of bergamot in it so you get this really crisp kind of juicy citrus in the top and then this fluffy sweet vanilla and a fresh like a freshness from the ambergris and a little bit of woodiness and it is stunning i mean stunning i will tell you i used the entire sample in one go i was like covered in this and i would say i've had this on for maybe three hours and it's already it's already to the point where I almost can't even smell it on my skin at all anymore. I can still smell it faintly on my clothing, for sure, but it would be right around this time that I would need to reapply this one. I love it though, so I wouldn't mind at all reapplying it. It almost reminds me a little bit of the, of the Frank Boclet Vini, which I also have in my collection, um, but that one is a little bit heavier. That one has a... It's more of like a, that one really to me smells like key lime pie. Um, Frank Boclet Vini smells like straight up key lime pie to me. It's got so much lime in it. Um, this one is a, like a, it's much lighter. It's not lime, it's bergamot, so it's crisper. Uh, or, well, I don't know if it's more crisp, but it's, it smells a little bit fresher. Um, it's not like a syrupy, sweet, sugary lime like what is in Frank Boclet. This one, the bergamot in this is definitely not super sweet. It's very, very fresh. Um, but then once it does dry down, the bergamot kind of dies away and you're left with this beautiful, fluffy, sweet, woody vanilla. And it's just beautiful. Again, performance on it isn't wonderful. I would say three-ish hours and I doused myself. I poured the entire sample all over myself and that was, that's what, these are a mill, I think. So I used a full mill of fragrance and after I would say three hours, you would need to reapply, which I am completely fine with because it smells amazing and it's my favorite kind of fragrance, which is a vanilla fragrance. I would definitely say 4162 stays the sexiest scent on the planet ever. 
I am HO is a winner for me. This is definitely this past the full bottle test. I will definitely be picking up a full bottle of this at some point and it will definitely keep sitting on my lucky scent wish list. So anyways, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.